Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. Today's clip is another Mavic Mini quick tip where I walk you through the steps needed to change out a defective prop. Now you might already be thinking, my gosh, Rick, that seems like such a simple thing to do. Why are you putting a clip together? Don't I just pull the screws off, pop the prop on and tighten up the screws? And I guess that's kind of true, but there are two critical steps that you need to know about and pay attention to to make sure those props are on there correctly and they're down tight because the props are a single point of failure, which means if you get it up in the sky and you lose a prop, that little Mavic Mini is gonna come down pretty quickly. So super important that you get the props on correctly. Now I'm gonna walk you through the process. It takes a couple of minutes to change out the props, not a big deal. And if you're familiar with drones in the past the DJI's released, they used to have the push and twist kind of props that came off, so you didn't really have to deal with sort of taking off a physical prop and putting a new one on. A lot of other quads use those type of props, like the Anafi and a few others, so if you fly those kind of quads, this thing is pretty much second nature to you, but for the rest of the flyers out there that haven't done this before, or new flyers that are flying the Mavic Mini as their first quad, it's super important you understand how to do this. So stay tuned, I'm going to walk you through the steps, then I'll come back with some closing comments. Replacing a damaged propeller on the Mavic Mini is a pretty straightforward procedure, so I'll show you how to do that now and give you a few tips to help you along. The first thing you'll want to do before you even open up the replacement propeller kit is to find an area to do the work. Now I'm lucky today that I'm inside, I've cleared some space on a table, I've put down a paper towel, and I'm all ready to go. It's a little bit trickier if you're outside because you may be in a field with tall grass or on a beach with sand, and it's really difficult to do this if you're holding onto the quad and trying to manipulate the screwdriver, you're going to drop stuff and, and lose it forever. So I'd recommend if you're outside, if you have a hard case with you, lay that down on its side, work on the top of that, or if you've driven to a location, maybe take a car mat out of your car, put that on the ground just so you have an area you can work and everything can stay organized. Now, if you bought the basic kit, you got one of the propeller replacement kits included. If you bought the Flymore combination, you got three of these. I would recommend immediately, if you bought that single kit, to order a bunch of these up because they're inexpensive and they're definitely something you're going to want to have in your kit if you damage your propeller so you can keep flying. When you tear open that kit, you're going to find all these components inside, and that's why it's super important to find a good place to work because you have a bunch of tiny screws and tiny propellers and a miniature manual here, and I promise you, if you're working on a surface that's not level or if you're out in tall grass, the minute you open that package, all these guys want to do is find some place to hide. So they're going to bounce around and find the darkest corner of the room or they're going to land in the bottom of that grass and you're never going to see them again. So you'll find six screws and four propellers in the kit. There's two sets of propellers, one that are clockwise and one that are counterclockwise. And that's super important when you're changing them to line those up. So you'll notice on this tip, you've got a single stripe and on this tip, you've got dual stripes. And you can see over here, dual stripes and single stripes. So it's pretty straightforward. If you're replacing these, use these propellers. And if you're replacing these, use the double stripe propellers. Now we will recommend as well, when you change these, don't change a single propeller. Always take both propellers off, throw them out, and use the new propellers. The same is for the screws. Now you may be wondering, why did they give us six extra screws? They're not actually extra screws, they're replacement screws. And that's an important definition because the screws that are in there actually have, you can't see it because it's really tiny, I'll try and blow it up, but there's a blue stripe on the end of this. And what that is, is Loctite. Now Loctite is a compound that with compression of the screw going in, you're gonna generate heat. That activates that adhesive down there. So when the screw actually hits the bottom, that Loctite will set and hold the screw in the shaft a lot tighter than just the pressure of the screw in the shaft itself. The problem is you can't reactivate it. So when these were put in, the Loctite set, when you pull them out, you break that bond. So throw out the two screws, throw out the propellers, use new screws and use the two propellers. Also, don't just use one propeller from this kit and save the other one and match it up with a propeller from another kit because there is a balancing that goes on from the factory to make sure these are a match pair and these are a match pair. So just in general, the kit isn't expensive enough. When you have a defective propeller, if this one's been damaged, change them both, throw them out, throw the screws out, and you'll be good to go. The manual kind of explains all that, but again, you need a microscope to read it, so I'm trying to explain it. All right, to change this out, it's pretty straightforward. You'll basically want to unscrew these using the screwdriver that came with the kit. Now, you can do it a couple of ways. You can hold on to this and try and do it, but then this is going to jog around on you. The way I like to change them is to hold the motor and then back out the screws. So I'll back this one out first. You'll feel it come all the way out and it's loose. Back out the second one. Okay, and that's it. Now again, get rid of these guys. Don't save them. Chuck them. Now, I've changed out one of the propellers, and I might forget exactly which one I used, but I can count. So I've got two stripes, two stripe, one stripe. Okay, that's a one stripe propeller. I'm going to use these guys. Now, on the motor, you'll see two sets of holes. You've got to be careful that you line it up with the right hole. It's the inside hole you're going to want to put the screw in. And the way I like to do this is to hold the propeller, put the screw through it, put the screwdriver in the top of it, and then find the hole. And then once it starts tightening, just let it set, go to the second one, put the screw in it, spin it around so I've got access to that. I know it's the inside hole, and there we go. Now, the danger here, again, is 
the motor windings are exposed right here. You want to be really careful you don't poke down in there with the screwdriver and you don't drop a screw in there. If you do, don't try and fish it out because if you nick those wires, you could cause major issues down there where you're going to short them together. So if you do drop the screw in there, just flip it over, hold your hand underneath it and shake it until the screw comes out. All right, so to tighten these up, just tighten them up like you would any other normal screw. Now what you're going to find, and I'll probably show you a close-up of this as well, is you don't have to tighten them down that far. Don't feel like you have to crank them down because these should flip around a little bit. The screw will bottom out and still leave a lot of play in these propellers to actually spin. And if you look closely, and again, I'll try and do a blow up of this, the whole shaft is not the screw. The screws, the threads are only the end of it right here. Most of that shaft is just a solid shaft. And that's because the propeller sits on that part where there's no screw, there's no threads, and the threads are all that's holding it in. So it's a tiny bit, I don't know if that's a 16th or 32 inch of, uh, 32 seconds of an inch to actually hold it down inside there, but that's all it takes. Now that it's changed, you're good to go. One last thing I wanna point out is that if for some reason you decide it's a good idea to pull off all four props at the same time, don't do that. But if you do, and you're saying, oh my gosh, which prop goes where, they did you another favor by actually putting a line here on the double stripe props. You can see a little line right there, and there's a line on the arm. So if you ever forget where they go, you can look for the lines and know those are the double props, or I should say the double stripes and the line on the props. So I think they've done everything they can to make it easy to change them out. And it really is just that simple, but keep those tips in mind when you change them, change both props at the same time, throw the old props out and use new screws and throw the old screws out and you'll be good to go. Now there's nothing wrong with hanging on to these extra screws or a set of props. So save these, put a little Ziploc bag in there, put these in that bag and you'll be good to go for the next time. But again, don't change just one, change them both. I hope that was helpful in showing you how to change out a broken propeller on your brand new Mavic Mini. And I know the procedure seems pretty simple, because it is, but if you missed that first tip about throwing out the old screws that you pulled off the quad to change out the prop and using the new set of screws because of the Loctite at the tips, over time that's gonna cause you problems. Initially, you may not even notice it because if you took the old screws and tightened them down really well, the props would seem seated on the actual shafts themselves. The challenge is because there's no Loctite down the bottom, you're not getting that binding effect between the screw and the shaft. And over time, the vibrations of the motor, especially up in really windy conditions, are gonna slowly work that screw back out of the shaft and you may not even notice it, but any little play down there at the base of that propeller is going to cause vibration. And that's a problem for the motors, for the stability of the quad. And over time, just based on the physics of it, if it's vibrating a lot, you're going to get cracks in that propeller base. And you may be up at 200 feet, have that thing crack and a propeller fly off, and the Mavic Mini is going to come down like a rock. So it's a single point of failure. Change them out and you'll be good. Always use the new screws. The second part about knowing a clockwise propeller from a counterclockwise propeller is something that a lot of new flyers are not going to be aware of. And honestly, the manual is microscopic in size. So unless you've got like an electron microscope in your basement, you probably couldn't tell. So I wanted to spend a few minutes just showing you clockwise and counterclockwise indications on the propellers and the quad so you know which prop to use and you won't have a problem using the wrong props on this thing and having flip over when you try to take off. The last thing I want to talk about quickly is proper maintenance for your propellers. If you fly a lot, you wanna make sure before you put your quads down for the day that you inspect your propellers. I always do it every time I'm done for the afternoon before I put it back in my case. I'll physically inspect the propellers. I'll look for nicks and dings. And second, I'm looking for dirt and debris on the propeller itself. Because remember, you're up in the air 200 feet. You're flying through air that's got dust and debris up there. There are bugs up there. So if you hit a fat bug, you're gonna get bug juice all over your propellers. You wanna clean that because the longer you leave it on there, it's gonna sort of crystallize on there and you're never gonna get it off. So I always carry some paper towels or a soft cloth with me and I'll give them the once over before I put it away for the day. Every now and then I'll take out an alcohol wipe and I'll actually, the ones you use to clean your glasses and I'll clean these guys off. And you'll be amazed at how much dirt and debris you get off those propellers. And again, you don't have to do it, but it's good proper maintenance to do it because that way your props are gonna last longer, your quad will fly better and you won't have any issues down the road. So that was pretty much it for today. Now, if you have any questions about anything I've covered, please drop them in the comments below. I have a lot more clips coming both in the Mavic Mini and a bunch of other technology, a lot of high tech gear we're reviewing. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that that subscribe button down there and join the Drone Valley family. We also have the 12 days of Drone Valley Christmas coming up and you're not going to want to miss that because I have some incredibly cool stuff that we're going to be giving away this year and you're going to want to get in on that. So that's it for today. Thanks an awful lot for watching and until next time, happy flying. Mm -hmm.